By now you should be able to edit images in Lightroom, but there are a few steps needed to take before you actually get to the editing bit. Uh, and even before we get to that, we need to have a look at what Lightroom is, is what Lightroom versions we have, and what precisely are the benefits of using Lightroom. So before we start into Lightroom itself, we should be aware that there are, first of all, two Lightroom applications, at least. It depends how you count. Um, so, for example, if you go to your Creative Cloud account under the Photography apps, you have here Photoshop, you have Lightroom, and Lightroom Classic, and Camera Raw, and Bridge. These are all apps or bits of apps that help you in photo editing and what's central to them is that camera raw engine which i'll give you an idea of in a bit so before a f like i don't know before a few years ago don't remember exactly when uh, lightroom was called photoshop lightroom to make it clear that it's actually the same application in the background but a different interface. Now obviously it is not the same application. There are things that Lightroom can do and Photoshop can't. There are things that photo a lot of things that Photoshop can do and Lightroom can't. But the core of them is common. Or at least the core of Lightroom is common to Photoshop as well. Uh, in time, that naming was changed, and now Lightroom is just Lightroom. But it's not, because you have two versions of Lightroom. So you might see here, there's Photoshop, there's Lightroom, and there's Lightroom Classic. Um, Lightroom Classic is the older version of Lightroom, where everything is done locally. So... Uh, it's just what people would usually call Lightroom. Uh, and you have your files on your computer, and you edit them on your computer, and you export them on your computer, and they're just there. Uh, it uses the same camera raw uh, engine that we saw in Photoshop. Uh, and it does all the other things that Lightroom does. What is now called... Lightroom, simply Lightroom, is a more modern version of that application. Again, the processing is the same. The algorithms behind the edits are the same. But what it does, extra you could say, is save everything, save all your images to the cloud. And it can even process them in the cloud to take off some of the processing strain. It also has a web app, so you can use it in the browser fully without uh, even installing anything. As long as your photos are synced there. And actually you can even upload them to, to the cloud um, through the web interface. Um, in addition to Lightroom, Photoshop and Lightroom Classic, we also have two other things here. Camera Raw. Now, Camera Raw is, is the plugin we've been using in Photoshop. And it has its own versions. It's developed separately. Um, but you can't really use it standalone. So you can use it in Photoshop and you get access to everything that it can do. And it's the same thing that powers Lightroom Classic. Lightroom as well, if you have it installed. But Lightroom Classic definitely. So when you have Photoshop and Lightroom Classic installed, they're both using the same camera raw engine behind the scenes. Uh, you can't really have different versions of those, for example. And Bridge... Bridge is just... Um, yeah, sure. Bridge is just a navigation and file management tool 
So it's kind of like Windows Explorer, for example, or the Finder on the Mac. It lets you browse through your files and filter them and create collections uh, and all kinds of stuff like that. But you can also get access to edits directly from Bridge. So you can right click on a photo. I randomly chose uh, an illustration there where it opened. Uh, and you have an open in camera raw option here and so you can do this editing just the camera raw stuff directly from bridge bridge comes automatically installed with whatever application you install from the adobe suite from the creative cloud so because again it just manages the files uh, and again you do you can do some uh, minor editing in here for some reason right now it's not opening but it might be because it's the first time i've opened it so it's doing some uh, some calculations let me try to open something that's not in the cloud but that's on my computer if i can find an image there uh, this works as well as anything yeah and see it opens up camera raw directly from here but still there's no other way in which you can open camera raw by itself and again it uses exactly the same thing that you have in photoshop and in lightroom now for well for completeness sake we'll look at both lightroom classic and lightroom but again, the differences will be small. Lightroom Classic does have more features than the modern Lightroom. Um, but again, they're not completely on par, so there are small differences for each. We won't be going very much in depth with either of them, but I will show you the general workflow and then just compare uh, Lightroom to the Lightroom Classic version that we'll be mostly working with. Now, in addition to this, you also have a mobile Lightroom app, which links to the same database that Lightroom Modern is connected to. So once you upload your files in Lightroom for web or uh, import them into Lightroom Modern on your desktop and let it sync or uh, well import them from your web app uh, from your mobile app sorry then they'll be in the same place and you can access all of them from all these three places and actually Lightroom Classic can sync with that now as well so Lightroom for mobile is a surprisingly powerful tool that actually lets you do almost everything that Lightroom can editing wise on your phone that's also a nice option to have uh, to to be able to do editing on the fly on a phone or on a tablet I think it has both uh, it definitely has Android uh, an Android version I think it has an iOS version as well but I'm not completely sure um, so when you buy Lightroom, you buy Lightroom Classic, Lightroom, Lightroom Mobile, and Camera Raw and Bridge. These all come in a package. Also, when you buy Photoshop, you buy Photoshop, Camera Raw, and Bridge. So, and you can buy a pack that has all of these. But that's kind of the the ecosystem we're working in. So let's move to looking at how the interface actually works.